wanted to put together a cute, like kind of rustic uh, little floral arrangement. I have a place on the coffee table in our living room that just needed a little something. So I found uh, this at Hobby Lobby. It was $8.99. It wasn't on sale, um, but I was okay with that for $8.99. I thought it was a decent size for that price. So grab that. And then I know I love lamb's ear. And so I got some sprays of lamb's ear. I got four different ones, not different, but four of those. And then I got some baby's breath. Uh, these were 50% off when I got them. And so when I got them, the baby's breath, it was $5.99 each and uh, about 50% off. So basically both of those for $5.99. And then the lamb's ear uh, was $6.99 each, but on sale 50% off. So $6.99 for two. I thought that was a pretty good bargain. Then um, lastly, I saw these wooden flowers that I just really liked the look and the feel of. Um, and so grabbed these instead of silk flowers. They were a little pricier at $11.99, but they were also 50% off. So grab those. I'm going to put it all together and we'll see what we think. While I do that, I wanted to take just a few moments and introduce myself to you. My name is Leah Smith. I live in a somewhat small town about 30 minutes outside of Athens, Georgia. We're about the same time to Atlanta too. So we have full range of things that we can find close by. I'm married to my husband, Calvin. We've been married almost 11 years. It will be 11 years in May. Um, he's quiet, but absolutely loves adventures just as much as I do. So we always find ourselves doing many different things. I work a full-time job as a manager for a software company and I lead worship at our church. On my channel, I'll be posting videos about organizing, crafting, traveling, hair and skin care, and some devotions. I also plan to include little nuggets in the videos like tips and tricks, maybe money saving ideas, easy, somewhat healthy recipes, um, some workout motivation, and probably some music too. I came up with the name for my channel because there's not much that I won't try my hand at. Plus, I'm a master of a few things, at least by title. I'm a licensed master cosmetologist, even though that's no longer my occupation. And I am a master's athlete in CrossFit. They lovingly donned the title of master athlete on us um, once you hit age 35 or older. So that's why I'm a Jill of all trades and a master of some. If you enjoy seeing that kind of content, then make sure to click the subscribe button right below this video. And there's also a little bell. If you'll click the bell after you subscribe, then you can click the word all, and that will make it so that you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video. Now, since we're all new to this channel, I'd love for you to make sure to comment below and introduce yourself. Let me know where you're from, what some of your hobbies and interests are, favorite foods, your favorite places you've traveled. I want to get to know you. Thanks so much for being here and taking time out of your busy schedule to spend it with me. The only other two tools uh, that I grabbed were, I have some um, shears that are made for like floral picks and stuff like that to cut. I actually got these at Dollar Tree a really long time ago. I think I got them um, when Calvin and I got married, I did our flowers for the wedding. And um, so I think I grabbed these then. But anyway, so I have these and regular pair of scissors and then some floral wire. So I don't even know that I'll need the floral wire. I just grabbed it for just in case because what I plan to do is kind of put it together and see how I like it. And um, if I need some floral wire to kind of stick something in place, I will. But otherwise, we might just arrange them see how it, how it works. So I will likely do the flowers last. I want to start with the uh, lamb's ear. Obviously it's going to need to be cut way shorter. So let's see. Probably about... I'll give myself a 
just a little bit extra and cut off right about here. I anticipate I'll need to cut off a little more, so but I'd rather have it a little too long still than too short. So this land here is kind of thick. Just made my way around kind of in a circle as I cut on that. And so let's see. Yeah, need a little bit more cut off. Maybe about three quarters of an inch. And again, just kind of going in a circle, twisting it as I go, as I cut. I'm sure they make better um, <laughs> floral shears than this. Um, but these work, and it's what I had here. So we'll start with that. Measure the rest of them with this one. Keep them all about the same, even if not exact. <laughs> Make that one go flying. Same thing. One more time again. As you can probably tell, if I had a lot of these to do, I would be investing in some really sharp things. But since it's just this one little project. I'm going to save that for just a second and see how much this stacks up to be in here. Yeah. Oh no, I'm going to want it. Okay. About that length, I think it's good. And I do want the fourth one. I wasn't sure that I would want all four, but uh, just in that view, I'm pretty certain I will. So let's see if I can get it cut here. The, the um, stem on the lamb's ear is pretty thick. Um, a few different wires in it. So it makes it a little more difficult to cut. But we'll just put those there for now. Still, it seems tall to me. So, um, I may end up cutting it here and sticking that in if I use some floral wire. We'll see. All right, so we get one of these out and kind of fidget about the same. All right, now this one is pretty thick and pretty firm too. We'll have to see if these, my dollar store, Shears will work for it. Might have to go steal some of Calvin's tools out of the garage, but we'll see. So, while you're watching this, do any of you have some awesome uh, artificial floral shears that you love? If you do, comment down below. Let me know for my next project. I just might be tempted to use them. So, bending it helps. There we go. One more of the baby's breath. Lucky okay, for me, there's a little notch kind of thing right where I want to cut, or right where I think I want to cut. So I'll start that cut and then I'm going to bend it again just like I did that other one. I know that I want the flowers to be last, so I'm going to work some on this and get it close to what I want before I actually um, start working on the flowers. I'm going to cut the tag off of this little jug. And let's see. So.
gonna try cutting this one to two instead and just see how I like that. Give this some fluff here. So, like I mentioned, I love lamb's ear, um, and I really like eucalyptus too. Are there other greeneries that you all have some favorites of? Yeah, that's more like what I have in mind. So let me go ahead and do that with this one. Initially, when I started looking for something um, for the, the coffee table that I want to use this on, I didn't anticipate making it myself, but um, as I was looking for stuff, I just didn't find anything I really, really liked, and so I ended up um, getting all of the stuff to make this one, and it cost right at $30, um, my receipt. 3308. Um, it was 14, I'm sorry, it was 1396 for the four of these. Um, for the two baby's breasts, like I mentioned earlier, it was 598. Honestly, um, I think that's super cute for what I want, and I'll show you uh, what I wanted it for in just a second. And so, if I had not gotten all of this and cut it, I might would just stop here. And I still might come back to this and use this for another project uh, if if I don't just continue to love it. We'll see. In our wedding, I mentioned earlier that I did the floral arrangements for that, and um, some of my favorite flowers are hydrangeas, and so we had hydrangeas and white roses um, as our main uh, for our bouquets and boutonnieres. Calvin's favorite color is green, and so for our flowers for the wedding, I wanted it to be something that even if he didn't love flowers, he at least could appreciate the color. When I'm choosing to cut, what I'm cutting is, obviously this one is uh, taller, it's um, when it comes up, the little stem, the one that shoots out, I'm cutting the taller one off so that it's tall enough for the, the little jug, and then it still leaves the rest of the stem for the shorter one. And I'm going to use the taller one 
right where I feel like it needs one more. And then I'll use this one right here. When I said I felt like it needed one more, in my mind I said uno mas, and I don't really speak Spanish, as I'm sure you can tell by the way I just said it, uno mas, but um, as I watch YouTube channels, I think it's funny, a lot of the commercials that YouTube chooses to show me are in Spanish, and I don't know why. I don't watch anything else in Spanish. I would love to learn Spanish, and I uh, looked at, um, well, I tried to learn some, I did learn some, on an app called Duolingo, but it's been a few years ago, and I just Never did much with it. In high school, I decided to take French instead of Spanish because our Spanish class was so full they needed people to volunteer for a different class. Um, I really am liking the way it's turning out. So keep adding to it. Let's see, I'm going to go to the flowers next. I have one, well, two more things, but one more stem of the lamb's ear and then uh, two more things of the baby's breath from one stem of that. I have five of the flowers, and so let's cut those. Maybe they'll be easier to cut then um, much easier would just cuts right off. That's nice. This one has a thinner stem. Kind of just eyeballing that length to fit sort of right in the middle. Then I know I want one on the back and the side. So a little bit longer. Again, you can see I just kind of eyeballed that. Not kind of, I definitely did just eyeball it. Um, so, we'll stick that down there. Let's see what we think about that. Alright, and then two more. I know I want one here. Um, and then I might scoot this one maybe around a little bit and put kind of one on each side here so that it's not exactly even, but balanced. I like that this stem has a bit of a curve to it. Here I have this little crook. Hmm. The crook is a little harder to cut. I'll cut right above the crook. What a mess that is making on my table, but it's okay. Clean it up in just a little bit. center so then I really want something here and here like this so what I want to do is bring this one forward to balance that and we'll see from there I'm 
my camera cut off, I think it thought I needed to be stopped. I don't know. So, um, but I didn't realize it, of course, until I had just finished. Um, but I was really close to the finish before it cut off, thankfully. So um, I have just put in the other baby breath and lamb's ear that I had here. Just kind of finished that off. I'm going to put it on the coffee table and I'll show you what it looks like. Thanks again for joining me for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click that like button, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great day. As they say, busy is a choice. Stress is a choice. Joy is a choice. Choose well.